Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I actually saved there because it's quite important that you save because... My god, look at all this stuff. It's like a ruins. It's like a Chateau Englouti. What the... What the is right? I mean, look at this place. I kind of like what they do here. It's like it goes back in time. It's kind of like, um... I don't know, it's just really cool. It's like Final Fantasy X, Joe, you know, when you're in Xanarch and then you can see like the ghosts of like Orin and well not ghosts or like memories of Seymour and Seymour's mom and like stuff. It's an Elver attack, let's show him some of our Esper magic. We'll fight fire with fire, I guess. Well this must be that stupid War of the Magi thing. Someone's gonna kick off talking about that. Oh my god, here we go again. The War of the Fucking Magi. If we didn't know enough about that stupid thing. Well no, I say like we didn't know enough about it, but they keep going on about it, but they never explain what the hell it is, like A thousand years ago in the past, a battle was waged here. Jeez, yeah, we just saw that. Oh, who's this? Only Odin is here. Are your wounds healed? This is Odin, I guess. The Esper Odin. We're fresh out of options. We'll have to leave this battle in Odin's hands. Is Odin in Final Fantasy Twelve? I know he's in Final Fantasy Thirteen, As Lightning's Esper or whatever. But is he in Final Fantasy Twelve? A city ruined during the War of the Magi! Oh. Yeah, we kind of have to bring Terra here. It's kind of important. Here's Odin, I guess. Atomage! <laughs> wow. That reminds me of, like, in Digimon when War... when, like, War Greymon beat, um... Oh, what was his name? Oh. Metal... Atomage! Stupid ghost. Boss didn't do anything to him. I suppose it just went through him. When he beat Trimber, there was like that episode where, um. <gasps> don't do it, you can't turn me into Magicide! Yeah, don't, he has so much to live for. Leo! Um. Do you remember that episode of Digimon where, like, they were down in the sewers and there was Waru Monzemon? And. Um, what was his name? Mecha Dramon, was it? Was he the big robot guy? Um. But yeah, when they killed him, he like, fell in half, he like, like, he, it was just like that, it was like, they just walked, ran past him and like, sliced him, and then after like, two seconds, it was like, the top half just like, slid off the bottom half, it was hilarious. There's an ancient legend, it tells of a battle between Odin and a powerful sorcerer that took place in a great hall of this castle. That's nice to know, Terra, too bad we don't care. Um, okay, the reason I said saving is important is because there's actually, like, a tough battle coming up here. Well, that and, like, the enemies are quite dangerous. Like, all of these guys are pretty hardcore, I must say. As far as I know, okay, they're not. I, I could have sworn they were, like, susceptible to... Um... That they were susceptible to, um... Oh, great. Imp. Him. I could have sworn that they were susceptible to, um, X-Zone. Are they? No, I guess not. Well, that's terrible. Let's just aero them. I suppose we should un-imp Cyan. But then he might do, like, loads of damage. But then he might not. Oh, sneeze. Don't be doing that. Well, on Strago. Well, now we don't have anyone. I'll have to start using Flare or something. Oh good, they're weak against- it seems they're weak against Bold, well that's handy. Well if Gao gained a level... Then that means that I can take Zone Seek off of him. Do you know what? I couldn't care less, Terra's powerful enough as it is, plus she's just Terra. Okay, in this treasure chest there's a tough battle, now I think I can remember how to do it. As far as I know, confu you can sketch him and kill him in one go if you um, have Realm, but otherwise you can use Model on him. Um, Rage, I'm going to go with the Trillium if I can find it. Because he's actually weak against Poison, so... Cyan. Oh yeah, great. Just like, unmodel him straight away. That's the best thing you've ever done, Gao. Why couldn't you just use Bio, like? Okay, he can't really do that much. I might cast him. 
regen on Terra just because she's the most important one to stay away, stay um. It's she's the most important one to keep alive. But this guy, the Katanasol, he actually has quite a lot of um, quite a lot of HP. Now, if you model him, there's a chance that um. Wait and see if this works. Okay, good. Now we can use a bio on him. Which Drago? Would you stop doing that? If you model him, there's a chance he'll use his um, one-hit kill attack on, on himself. Because he does have a one-hit kill attack. That ignores... Um, okay, this is bad. Stop attacking him like that. Why can't you just use bio on the stupid clown? Um, okay, is that going to kill Simon? Yeah, it is. Okay, well that doesn't matter. I'd actually probably be better off just trying to kill him. Because the model doesn't seem to be working with Gao when he won't use Bio. You could probably use Trance, like with Terra, it might be a good idea so that you can, like, get off loads of damage on him. Okay, model, 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 model. Where are you? Model. Okay, if this hits, then he might, um... No, reflect! Oh my god, this is like the worst thing ever. Magic. Okay, now we have to start using... At least the poison damage will take him down as well. We have to start using... What goes past flare? Or what goes past reflect? Um... Ultima does, doesn't it? Oh, do you know what does? Step mine goes past it. Step mine with, with Strago. Lower. Step mine, where is it? Stop doing that, okay? Yeah, Ultima goes past Reflect as well, so that's actually a handy one. I don't usually use it, but I'm using it now because I'm not losing this battle. At least the poison is really wearing him down. Well, let's see how much Step Mine will do with Strago, actually, because that can be a really handy one. 2738, that's actually quite good. Now we can use Ultima again. See, that's it. That's his, like, instant death attack. I wonder if Dispel would get rid of that, um... If Dispel would get rid of that, um... Oh, like, holy crap. If Dispel would get rid of that Reflect, it might. I'm actually not sure how Dispel works in this game. Okay, the poison took him out. Brilliant. Oh my god, that battle... Like, look what he did to my party. There's no way to be prepared for that battle. He's so just like poison is the best thing you can get on him because it'll like start stacking up and doing lots of damage, but for beating him, which was tough. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Okay, I'm going to uh, be very clever, and I'm going to equip him with the economizer, and I'm going to use um, life two on everyone for um. Life 2 on everyone, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then just equip him back with the... With the earrings he had on. Where are they? There we go. Yeah, that's the handy thing about the Economizer. For getting... For doing that, we get the... If I get, get the chance to show you... I think some of these guys... I think those boxes are susceptible to... Um... Yeah, they're susceptible to X-Zone as well, well that's handy to know. Oh, stop taking like MP off me. I think that's what that does anyway. It does something annoying anyway. We get for that, we- Oh my god, that stupid Reflect stash is driving me bonkers. Um... Yeah, Step Mine might actually be a handy one to be using here because to get past all that Reflect stash is crap, and at least X-Zone gets past it as well, so... Um, for doing that, I might as well show you on Cyan. I'll show you what the offering does. What it'll do is... Where is it? It basically it weakens the power of your attacks, but um, it lets you... Yeah, what's so different about that? 
it weakens the power of your attacks, but it lets you attack four times in one turn, so it's actually pretty bloody useful. Now here we are in this section, now what do we want to do? Oh, well this will give me a chance to show you off um, um, X5 or whatever. Two, three, four. And that's with the gauntlet as well, so his power is off, but you can see how that could be handy. Now there is one weapon in the game that is doesn't that its damage isn't affected by the master scroll. I can't remember if the Illumina is or not. Oh here's Odin. He's still there after all these thousands of years, after the war of the Magi, Odin, Odin turned into a Magicide shard. So did we get it? Espers and we can equip Odin, which costs 70 MP. I'm actually going to... Now, Odin is the only Esper in the game that can level up speed, and he can also teach Meteor at a level of 1. I don't really care we'll, we'll <laughs> about leveling up speed, to be honest. You know, it's just... Joe, you know, I could care less. Oh, that's the place I'm looking for. I, there was a, there was like... I can never remember. There are like a couple of ways that you can go, because we're not finished here yet. Believe it or not. I might as well show you Odin on these guys. Odin basically, when you use him, um, he'll use his Atom Edge attack. And there's a reason I'm showing you him now instead of later. Because something I haven't like said is that... Yeah, see? There we go. And it's like an instant death attack, but it doesn't hit all the time. Oh good, Straggle learned Bolt 3 and Ice 3. It doesn't hit, it's not like a 100% guaranteed hit, so... Why did I, why do you come in here again? I guess it's just so you can see that that's down there, if you didn't know before. Um, but there's a reason I was showing you him now, because we actually won't have him for that much longer, spoilers. Um, but yeah, I, I can't remember whether or not the Illumina is affected by, um... Whether or not the Illumina is affected by the power drop that the offering makes happen. You know, I'm not really sure, but... Um, I suppose we could try it out. But there is definitely another weapon that makes that happen. Okay, what's this? A book with a gem encrusted cover. Queen's Diary. I realize now that I am in love with Odin. This breaks every rule of our society. But my heart longs for this noble, elegant man. How could anyone blame me? After the fighting is over, I'm going to bear my soul to him. Oh. Oh, here we go again. Love between a human and an esper. Yeah, pretty much. Now, is there like there is a secret here? Okay, I. Basically, if you go up to this chair, if I could stop running into random battles. Yeah, these are the only guys you run into in here. It's crazy. Rage, Osteosaur. Um. Sign, you get ready to like do your X fight crap. But there is another weapon definitely later on that isn't affected by it. Okay, if you go up to her chair, isn't it? You go one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, five. Yeah, that's it. Wait a second, did we look in here? Well, we found something. No, there's not. Oh, there is something. I knew there was something in one of those places. Blizzard orb and gold hairpin. Now that gold hairpin, I'm actually going to be betting that in the Colosseum. I'm not really that interested in having it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm just going skipping these battles when they're preemptive attacks because you can run away from them faster than it takes to win them. So that rumbling opened up this staircase. But we can actually get a better item for that. Um gold hairpin, and I don't really need two of them, so um, I'm going to be bashing that into Colosseum in the next video, probably. The Blizzard Orb is a relic for Umaro, I'll show that off in another video, but for now I think we're going to leave things off. Um, thanks a million for watching, I'll see you next time, and let's play Final Fantasy VI. This is Rock Paper Mario saying, see you next time.